If you've got a plum or a cherry, you may find this black knot fungus on your tree. If you see this stuff forming, you want to cut it off right away. Because it's a fungus, this will spread from one tree to the next. Now you don't want to take this and just throw it on the ground. You want to burn it. You also want to make sure that you cut it far enough back. You can see this stick is cut all the way back. But on this other stick, you can still see the disease in there. This one needs to be cut off some more. If not, this black knot's going to come right back. Now there's also other diseases. If you've got an apple or a pear, fire blight can be really bad. If you don't get it off those trees, it could take out an entire orchard in one season. And you need to cut it off just like you did this one. Now I'll show you an example of fire blight on a pear tree. In the summertime, it's really apparent. It looks like the branch was burned. Now when the tree's dormant, see these leaves just hanging there? That's pretty characteristic of it. And it's best just to cut these branches off and get these things burned up too. So this is what fire blight looks like. Now back to the plum tree for a minute. Now whenever you see these clusters of buds, these will produce flowers and then fruit. So this is a good sign. Now up here where you see a single bud, these are gonna be vegetative or leaves. Now this is new growth from last year. These single buds are gonna be leaves. So whenever you see these type of diseases, get rid of them right away and make sure you cut it far enough back. So if you have a cherry tree or a plum tree and you see this black knot, now you know how to identify it and get rid of it. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.